Okay guys, um, part two of the Bumblebee flower pen tutorial, the first part we worked on um, was the three flowers, the centers, and the base pen of itself. Um, this time around what we're going to do is the vine, the leaves, and we'll see what, um, if I have much time left, I'll do, show you how to do the little bumblebees from the leaves. Um, so what I did was I rolled out really thin Sculpey 3 521 lime. Just rolled it out like this until it got thin. Don't want it to be super thin, but you don't want it to be really thick either. Um, and then what we're going to do is I am going to start probably up at the top here. Um, the only challenge with doing a couple flowers like this is most likely I'm going to have to cut and restart in another place, but we'll see. So I just tucked this underneath the flower, pushed it in a little bit with my thumbnail, and I'm just going to roll this around the pen. And, yeah, I'm going to have to pull it in here, grab my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut it off. Pick it up, and tuck it in. There we go, so that hides that. Um, then what I'll do is just pick up from behind here. I don't think it'll be all that noticeable. Um, so we'll pick it up, put it in there, and come on. There we go. Lift the leaf, start it under the leaf, put the petal back down, and... There we go. It's stuck on my finger. And then just continue rolling it. There we go. That worked. Alright. So I'm just going to keep rolling this until I get to the very bottom. And then once I get to the bottom, I am just going to cut it off. And this is the bottom where the pen goes in. So when you put it on, I'm going to flatten mine out a little bit because I don't want it to get in um, like this. I don't want it to get into that because that's where the pen's going to go in. So there it is now with the vine on it tucked in underneath these little leaves like that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on um, the leaves, and using my Sculpey mold with flowers and leaves, I'm going to use this small one here, um, kind of in the middle. I like it because it has a little curve to the leaf. So what we're going to use is the same lime green, small ball of clay. Condition it a little bit here because it's getting kind of hard. Okay, and then just press it in the mold. It's actually too much, so we'll pull some of that out. Okay, and then we'll just pop it right out. And there's the leaf that it creates. So then from there, I have the other ones, a couple other ones made. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, where I'm going to use them all. So um, I'm going to start at the top of the pen. I do want to put one right here because I kind of want to cover up um, where that goes behind the flower. So I'm going to set it on there, push it down a little bit. Try not to push too, too hard because the impression can get pushed away. And then the next one I'm going to put behind this pink one, but I'm going to turn it, the leaf a different direction. Push that in a bit. Oops, lifted up my petal. There we go. Push that in a bit. And then 
I'm going to do another one on this white flower. It's kind of squished my green there. And we'll put it in right there. I'm going to have to fix my vine a little bit because I'm squishing it. So in that sentence, what I might do is add another leaf right there to cover up a finger mark where I kind of flattened out the vine. And let's go... No big deal. It's one nice thing about this. Really flattened it out there from pushing so hard. Okay, there we go. And break it off. Awesome, that was an easy fix. So I have that leaf, that leaf, those two, and I'm going to put one more, and I'm going to put it right behind this pink one. So I'll push that in right there. And that's it. So there's the flowers with the leaves the whole way around it. And we're going to go ahead and do um, the little bumblebees real quick. So I'm going to put three little bumblebees, one on each uh, flower or leaf or whatever. So how I made my bumblebees was this way. I, there's, I just grabbed a little chunks of clay of yellow. Um, is lemonade, black and white. And for the yellow, all I did was grab a little chunk, rolled it out into a ball, kind of made it into a little bit of an oval, and just flattened it out. I'm going to pick it up with this, because my yellow is really soft. It seems like my clay got either really soft or really hard. But anyways, um, after that, I'm going to take a small amount of black clay, do something similar to that, round ball. This you want to try to get as round as you can, because what I'm going to do next is, with my knife, I'm going to cut a third of it off. Which is going to leave me with the biggest part to go on the front as the bumblebee head. Ladybugs are the same exact way, except for the, instead of the yellow, um, use the red. And its body got kind of squished out, so there's that. And then last and certainly not least, um, I'm going to put the wings on it. And the very end, once everything is dried and baked, what I'll do is I'll go in and hand paint with black acrylic paint um, the stripes on the body. So that'll be done the very end, um, right before you glaze. So with the white, I'm going to roll it out into a little line. And this is going to make two wings. So once you do that, I'm going to cut it in half and then push down on it to flatten it and because of the cone that you are rolling in and then the pressure from pushing it makes this little um, like a cone shape already so then you don't have to worry about 
shaping the wings or anything like that. So then we're going to take and put his little wings on. Get the other one picked up. The only bad thing about the bumblebee versus a ladybug it's a little bit more tedious because of the wings. But all in the end, definitely worth it. His little wing shifted on me. Okay. But there is. Let's try that again. There we go. And there's the little bumblebee. Um, if you want, with your. You can pinch the ends of the wings a little bit more if you want. That looks a little better. So, I have three of them done now. So, this one. Let's take and put him and put him on this bottom petal of this flower. If you have Sculpey Bacon Bond, by all means you can use that also. I have it. Um, however, I think that raw clay on raw clay, it I don't know if I just didn't do it right the first couple times or whatever, but it my pieces slid a lot, so I just choose not to do it that way. Um, I just did the raw clay and just put it on each other. So let's do this one. That looks good. We'll leave it just like that. Because then it looks like he is into the flower. And then the last little guy I'm going to use, and I'm going to put him on this big leaf right here. I think this leaf beside that flower looks a little large, so, okay, come off little bumblebee. There we go. There we go. And that's that. So all of the bumblebees are on, the flowers are done, the vines done, the leaves are done, bumblebees are on. At this point, um, I'm going to go on my own and I'm going to pull this, I'm going to lift this up because I really flattened that. I'm going to lift this up, I'm going to roll it out um, a little bit and then apply it back on. And this part is done. This pen now is ready for baking. Um, my clay with the Sculpey 3 it is a 275 temperature and you're supposed to bake it for 15 minutes for every quarter inch um, so I'm probably going to bake it for the full 15 minutes just because of the layering with the leaves and a couple of my leaves are pretty thick so I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes um, and then it will be ready the bees will be ready to be painted and it will be ready to be glazed um, so hang in there. I'm going to do part three. I'm going to make a base for this, and I'm going to make a bumblebee base um, for the pen holder, and I'll be back with that one. Thanks, guys.